Get any Vietnam vets here, you might remember the planter monitors in Asia. Okay, they were exciting. They get about nine feet long, a little over a hundred pounds. Fourth longest lizard in the world. Comes from Africa. It's called the Nile monitor. Now, once again, this is going to look like a lap lizard. He's really not that friendly. What he is is the bone. This guy's favorite temperature is about 103 degrees. And if he's only by the light to actually turn him on, it's like working on a switch. Once he sits in the sun for 15 minutes, he warms up. This guy can run over 35 miles an hour. And at his size, he can bite three fingers off of me like he did. You cut paper with scissors. He's got triangular teeth that more ties together tighter than the temple stones of Machu Picchu. It leaves a mark behind like painting shears. Things amazing. That monitor delicious. Oh, what a great guy. So to show you his most important tool is his tongue. Lizards and snakes smell with their tongues. And that tongue can't hurt you. It's as white as a feather and dry as a bone. That yeah, must be my breath. Um, okay. Uh, the two points on his tongue are a direction finder that's spread out to tell him which direction the odors are coming from. Uh, it works the same way as your nose. you got two nostrils, curvy lines on each side, and straight lines underneath. By the way, that's called a filtrum. I can't even enjoy George Carlin. I know too much about biology. You always send him a no name for that. It's a filtrum. Uh, and these curvy lines going down your face, he goes, get deeper as you get older. So when you inhale, air whips him to out of your face, and you can tell where odors are coming from. This guy sits out his tongue, the point spread out. He can tell where odors are coming from. What he mostly smells for is rodent footprints. Rats and mice don't seem too good, so they should be smelly feet. Everywhere the rodents go, they leave stinky little footprints all over the ground. So if they get lost, they turn around and follow the smelly old feet all the way back home again. This guy can go walking over the ground, sticking out his tongue, track them right to their homes. He can dig them up with his powerful front legs and long paws, or just lay there in ambush when they come back out again. You know what else he's got? Lizards have the same eye as you and me, built the same way, the same parts, same proportions. He sees colors like you and I do, probably the same colors the same way. He sees shapes like you and I do. Uh, if he was laying on the window, so a cat, which would never happen because he would kill the cat, but if they had a truce, and a ship up ran across the driveway outside the window, the cat and the lizard would be banging against the glass, scratching away, trying to go get the chip up. Ten minutes later, a big oak leaf goes blowing across the driveway in the wind. My cat, like an idiot, could be bombed up against the glass trying to get it. Lizard's going to lay there and pay no attention, because just by looking at it, he knows it's the leaf. A cat doesn't, he ain't got that kind of eye. He's got speed. Like I said, when he warms up, he can run 35 miles an hour in a quick spurt, and he's got a cool tail. This is a wraparound tail for climbing. Uh, his tail doesn't break off. So if he runs out of rats and mice on the ground, he can run up a tree full speed, say George throws a monkey through the tree top. His tail is flat and thin if you're swimming. He runs out of food in the trees, he can dive in the river, catch fish, frogs, turtles, and crocodiles. Wherever this guy lives, he's got food. He's like the raccoon in the lizard world. He balances a lot of animal populations that way. And he also lives close to 50 years. Oh, you know what else his tail is? It's a weapon. If an animal bothers him when he's cold like this, he feels he can't get away, he'll blow himself up with air so he looks bigger. He arches his back like a cat. He'll turn sideways, he'll pump out his throat, open his mouth, stick out his tongue, and he'll hiss real loud. Well, if enemies watch in the front end, he'll take that tail and go whack all right in the snoop. And man, I'll tell you, that stinks. This is just like a whip. This will cut skin and hit his side. His parents were both close to eight feet long, and when I got rid of them a little over a year ago, I had to clean their cage wearing a full leather welding outfit with a welder's mask and they're always dancing around sideways without whacking me in the legs in the face with their tail. And by the way, for the ladies, sorry about being a comedian leather if you blink your eyes a lot of the stage.